Now, depending on the location and the type of disease, um, ray gun has you know, different modes which may be more appropriate. There's the contact mode, angle mode, and penetration mode. With contact mode, you place the tube flat onto the problem area and pull the trigger. This mode is ideal if you have sensitive skin or small skin problems. And here you can see the um, contact mode being applied. With the angle mode, you place the edge of the tube to touch the skin and slowly move the tube across the target area. We've called angle mode arc mode during this presentation, but the more precise term is angle mode. The mode is recommended for skin which isn't so sensitive because it creates tiny arcs around the edges. These arcs create more nitrous oxide and ozone. Um, it also encourages the VUV to travel further into your skin and whilst it doesn't damage healthy cells, it kills pathogens which may be hiding under the surface. But um, more importantly, the nitric oxide gets carried further down. Um, okay, now the because a smaller surface is being contacted, the energy is more focused. And that's another reason why it's more powerful. And then we have the big one, the penetration mode. Now, penetration mode is using an earthing pad. It increases the power and penetration of treatments. You plug one end of the earthing cable into the little hole next to the power supply, which is at the base of the handle. And you plug the other end into the cable, of the cable, sorry, into the earthing pad itself. You place the gun directly against your skin Position the earthing pad on the opposite side of the problem area and you pull the trigger. You can use the earthing pad with the other two modes as well, which is the angle mode. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's a very, very good way of increasing the depth of the treatments. And there's penetration mode being displayed now. Where the TENS pad is on the other side of the body or just across from the treatment area.